All right, so I wanted to talk about a weekly average and why I'm not losing weight. So a lot of times, whether we look at macros or caloric intake, we look at the daily or the micro level, but we never look at the meso level. We might even look at the macro level, like, oh, I've lost one, four pounds in one month, I've lost you know eight pounds in a month, I've gained. So we never look at the meso, the middle ground, and the really reality of that is that if we look at the seven days across the board and we look at our average, the goal here is always getting this average to what our caloric intake needs to be. So if I'm doing 2,000 calories a day and I have exercise and obviously you're going to input some type of energy expenditure, but you're not going to actually calculate that. And if you're doing what we're doing right now in the sense of eating paleo or eating clean for four days and then cheating one meal and then cheating two meals and then kind of intermittent fasting the next day, this average would be your basic average, right? But what I do see a lot of people do is almost like in these clean days, they go too low. So they have one day of 1,800 calories, they have another day of 1,750, they got one day of 2,000, and then I got one day of 2,100. And the reality of this average is way lower than the actual 2,000 calories that they need for the four days. So a lot of times, these cheat days are actually to get this number back up. It's just to help it out. But if these days aren't somewhat consistent, we got a big problem because now at the end of the week, we might actually with cheat days and an actual fasting day, we might be still below our weekly average. So we can't do this because this goes back to the idea of being in a caloric deficit for too long and our body going into a starvation or a caloric dehydration or some type of high, like hydration issue of calories, right? So if we actually address this, our main focus is to make sure that our weekly average is our goal. So if our goal is to be at 2,100 calories for the week, then that's what we got to work towards. So we're going to keep four days consistent, we're gonna cheat one or two days, and then we're gonna kinda of even it back out. But we're gonna always be focused on this weekly average.